Summa Theologica, Part 1, Question 2. On the Existence of God. Article 1, Is God, or is he not self-evident? Objections by which it seems that God is self-evident. 1. Those things whose knowledge is connatural to us are said to be self-evident, example, first principles. The knowledge that God exists is impressed on everyone by nature. Therefore, God is self-evident. 2. Those things are said to be self-evident which, on saying their name, are immediately identified. This is attributed to the first principles of demonstration. For example, once it is known what is whole and what is part, it is immediately known that the whole is greater than its part. Therefore, once understood what this name, God, means, one immediately concludes that God exists. If by this name the most immense thing that can be understood is implied, then what is given in reality and in the understanding is more immense than what is given only in the understanding. Since what is meant by this name, God, is immediately understood to be in the understanding, it must be concluded that it is also in reality. Therefore, God is self-evident. 3. That truth exists is self-evident, since he who denies that truth exists is saying that truth exists, for if truth does not exist, it is true that truth does not exist. But for something to be true, it is necessary that truth exists. God is truth itself. John 14 verse 6, I am the way, the truth, and the life. Therefore, that God exists is self-evident. Against this, no one can think the contrary of what is self-evident. However, it is possible to think the contrary that God exists, according to Psalm 52 verse 1, the fool says in his heart, God does not exist. Therefore, that God exists is not self-evident. I answer, the evidence of something can be in two ways. One, in itself and not for us, another, in itself and for us. Thus, a proposition is self-evident when the predicate is included in the concept of the subject, as man is animal, since the predicate animal is included in the concept of man. Thus, if everyone knew in what the predicate consists and in what the subject consists, the proposition would be self-evident to everyone. This is what happens with the first principles of demonstration, for their terms such as being not being, all part, and the like, are so common that no one is unaware of them. On the contrary, if some do not know in what the predicate consists and in what the subject consists, the proposition will be self-evident, but it will not be so to those who do not know in what the predicate consists and in what the subject of the proposition consists. Thus it happens, as Boethius says, that there are concepts of the spirit common to all and self-evident which only the wise understand, for example, the incorporeal occupies no place. Therefore, I say, the proposition God exists, considered in itself, is self-evident, since in its subject and predicate are the same, for God is his very being, since we do not know in what God consists, for us it is not self-evident, but we need to demonstrate it through that which is more evident to us and less by its nature, that is, by effects. To the objections. 1. To know in a general way and not without confusion that God exists, is impressed on our nature in the sense that God is man's happiness, since man by nature wants to be happy, by nature he knows by nature what by nature he desires. But this cannot exactly be called knowing that God exists, as, for example, knowing that someone is coming is not knowing that Peter is coming even if it is Peter who is coming. In fact, many think that the perfect good of man, which is beatitude, consists in wealth, others, place it in pleasure, others, in anything else. 2. It is probable that he who hears the word God does not understand that by it is expressed the most immense thing that can be thought of, for indeed some believed that God was body. Nevertheless, even supposing that someone understands the meaning of what is said by the word God, it does not follow, however, that he understands that what is meant by this name is given in reality, but only in the understanding of the understanding. Nor can it be deduced that it exists in reality, unless it is presupposed that in reality there is something such that something greater than it cannot be thought of. And this is not accepted by those who maintain that God does not exist. 3. The truth in general exists, it is self-evident, but that absolute truth exists, this is not evident to us. What do you think, is God self-evident or not? For more history videos, visit my channel in the video description. Next video, Article 2, is the existence of God, is it or is it not demonstrable?